These Grand Nylons from Furch are quite grand. We're looking at the top of the line GNC4 in two different tonewood combinations, so stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas, and you can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you want to support our channel, visit our Spring Store link below for custom swag and check out our podcast. It's called the Fretboard Confessional, wherever you get your podcasts. And of course, you can buy stuff from us on the website, like these Furch Grand Nylon guitars. Furch. Furch. Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, so, Ferk Davitsky. Very cool guitars. We've talked about some of these nylon strings from uh, Ferk before. Um, and, you know, they're, they're kind of in the vein that some other companies like Taylor have done. They're not pure classical guitars. Mm -hmm. They really are like that crossover nylon string for a steel string player to, you know, delve into that world. I remember. Uh, people like Robert used to call them like bossa nova style guitars, you know. Yeah, cool. um, but they fill a, a particular uh, niche, and uh, I think they're very, very cool guitars. These tend to be, in my opinion, some of the nicest guitars to occupy that particular space um, yes. of the not classical, classical guitar. Um, and this is a cool combination because we get to compare the tone woods. Yeah, I believe we've only had the cedar in the past, and yep. we did this one compared to an 814 nylon, mm -hmm. but this is a 12 fret, it's got a cedar top, so different top, different kind of construction, overall feel. We finally have the cedar and the spruce option here together at the same time, um, which was by design because I wanted both of them. So I think ever since we did that 814 versus the GNC comparison, more and more people have kind of been picking one of those two routes because we've sold some of those 814s. Mm -hmm. We've sold some of these, so I think it's worth it to kind of show both options of what you can get and kind of dig into them. Well, these are great guitars. You know, in that comparison, this is a much smaller guitar than the 814, closer to what like a grand concert from Taylor yeah. would be. Um, but this, you know, in some ways, what Ferk is doing is taking something that's really actually closer to a, a traditional classical guitar. Um, and then just bringing some of the things like a radius to the fretboard and the feel of the neck. And, and the looks and the specs are a little different. It's, it's a really, they're really beautiful, understated guitars. I love the bridge design um, and the way that they've done the inlay with the, 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 the headstock. It, and so it's like everything that would be cool to remain traditional is. Yeah. And then everything else is like this really subtle departure that works really, really well. Yeah. I particularly like the look of the rosewood with the tortoise shell and the spruce. But I'm, I, you know, I've long been a sucker for this classic combination of cedar and rosewood. So, yeah, I like the spruce rosewood combination. I haven't gotten to play it on this one on the GNC. But I think more and more people are kind of digging the spruce rosewood for a nylon because you do get some of that spruce pop. Mm -hmm. um, but then you kind of look at the traditional with the cedar, most of the more traditional classicals that we get will be a cedar top, maybe a mahogany back and sides, maybe rosewood. Um, but I think these two being virtually identical, same exact body, both 12 frets, I mean, same guitar, just different top wood, um, will be a nice little way for you to hear the sound differences and choose what you like for, more for a nylon string. Cool, well, let's yeah. take a listen to them. Um, there should be a distinct difference between the cedar and the spruce, and then we'll talk about why those differences come out and why, and you know how they might apply on the other side. Let's check it out.
Okay, so there you have it. Cooper's comparing the GNC4 spruce and rosewood versus cedar and rosewood. What are your thoughts on the difference between the two? I mean, it's tough because, so full disclosure, when I was filming the demos, I had a couple nice steel string guitars that I was also playing. And those gave me such a big kind of easy, fast projection mm -hmm. of a spruce and rosewood steel string. And then you're like, where did the volume go? Yeah. So I think... <laughs> Hence why they made steel string guitars. Yeah. Um, so I think for me, for what I my ears were expecting today, I leaned on the spruce as mm -hmm. like, that's what I like right now. A um, couple things. The cedar sounds very sweet, very nice, mm -hmm. mellow tone. Probably more if I was comparing a bunch of different nylon string guitars, probably what I might lean on if I hadn't played a bunch of spruce rosewood uh, steel strings. You probably heard it in the demo. These guitars both just came out of the box, straight out of the case. This one started going out of tune pretty fast, and I kept it going. And maybe some of you were thinking about commenting, hey, tune that thing up. <laughs> um, you know, it was subtle, maybe not so subtle. Um, and that this one stayed in tune a little started bit Started a few cents flat and then went to a dollar? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, that's good. Um, so that's the thing, I think once these both of these guitars, the strings kind of stretch out and warm up. Yeah, if you don't own a nylon string guitar, um, that's just a consequence of nylon strings. They stretch, and they take a while to settle in, and yeah. uh, it happens when you get it brand new. In fact, we've had people over the years, like, there's something wrong with the guitar. It's like, no, no, there's not. Just, Wait a few more days, yeah. Yeah, let's, in fact, what I tend to do is I tend to tune sharp when I put a new set of strings on, because it'll do it with a new set of strings or a new guitar. And so I will tune everything sharp, and stretch it out and tune it sharp again and let it settle in. But yeah, yeah, it's steel strings. It's something you got to uh, deal with. But I mean, I think overall I kind of went towards the spruce because you are getting a crossover kind of mm -hmm. guitar. You're trying to get something that has the nylon sound but has some of the advantages of maybe a more modern steel string or just modern acoustic guitar. So I think for me, this one kind of took the cake today, although I do think if you want to get more of a traditional kind of warm sound, the this, this cedar's pretty sweet. Well, and cedar is traditional for a reason. You know, it's typically been used on classical guitars, uh, you know, going back hundreds of years because it's a softer wood than spruce. And so you're already dealing with less tension from nylon strings or way back when gut strings. Um, and so having a softer wood species allows it to move and you know really generate that tone with a lighter touch and with less tension. When you pair cedar with rosewood, that usually turns into a lot of warmth and a lot of overtones. So if you're thinking you know uh, to kind of pluck a chord and let it ring and to do these slow melodies and whatnot, um, that, that's very much what cedar does kind of for classical guitars and for this crossover style. Um, and if you on the other end, compare the other music that embraces nylon string guitars, which is like flamenco. So faster and more staccato, mm -hmm. where you're not looking to have these uh, this kind of sustain and these overtones. Spruce, usually with a hardwood, like cypress or maple or something, has been utilized um, because it's a quick attack and a quick decay, and it kind of gets in and gets out. When you pair it with rosewood, you still get overtones, mm -hmm. but you get a lot more brilliance and brightness and stuff. And so if you're doing a lot of runs, and you want that brightness, Spruce is, is, you know, is your dancing partner. And if you want that mellow sound with a lot of richness and you want to just let things ring out, then, you know, Cedar's probably more what you're going to like. So, yeah. and if you can't decide or you need both, you just buy both. That's what you do. That's good. Add to cart twice, check out. So <laughs> That works for me. Um, and then also if you wanted something from a great manufacturer in the Czech Republic and you did not want to go for the GNC4, mm -hmm. they also make the two. We've talked about that on the channel. Satin finish, different tone wood options. There's a, I think they're walnut back and sides. Yeah, they're, um, they're custom stuff too. Just like the options that they provide at the price that they provide it at mm -hmm. continues to amaze me. Yeah. Um, there's some stuff that's been working on in the back of my head that eventually I will, I'm like, I want to order some of this stuff. Yeah, and sometimes they have, like, they kind of send us these lists. Here's what we've got if you want to restock. And, you know, I took a bunch of these and some of the vintage that we've been out of stock. I really like pretty much every little area that they they put out these cool guitars in. But sometimes they're like, there's this rainbow guitar that was a custom. 
just some cool if you want yeah. to check it out. And they're always incredible. Very yeah, I bet if you wanted a like grand nylon with like a sinker redwood top and Macassar Ebony back and sides, they'd build it for you. Yeah, <clears throat> for sure. It'd be cool. They did an all rosewood guitar yeah. last year. What's that sound like? Um, like an all rosewood guitar. Too many overtones. <laughs> Probably very. Yeah, I'm like that's an interesting thing to use that for a top because um, it's a hardwood. Probably a lot like mahogany, but darker. Anyway. But yeah, it's a fantastic it's, yeah. builder. I love their story. I love the way they build their guitars. It's very hard uh, to ever find any issues with them, and they stand mm -hmm. behind their product really well. So Furch is great. Thumbs up for them. And if you're looking for something that fits this kind of niche of adding that nylon sound to your uh, to your collection, you should definitely give these a look. And you can check them out on our website, which is alamomusic.com. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So check that out. If you want more coverage for Furch and other guitars, check out our channel. So subscribe. Turn on notifications, let us know your opinion, and keep coming back. We'll see you next time.